This tutorial is going to show you how to share a folder and its contents with someone else. Oftentimes what happens is we share a document with a colleague and then we share another document and then all of a sudden we're sharing three or four or more documents with them. Well, a way to remedy selecting individual documents and sharing them out is to just share a folder and then anything that is in that folder and anything you put into the folder in the future is automatically shared with that person. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to share a folder. I'm going to use the images folder that I just created and I've selected it to make it active. And if you notice um, up in the top area of my window it gives me the my folders. I could even change the name if I wanted to. But then to the right it says share this folder. So I'm going to select the down arrow beside the share this folder and go to sharing settings. A little window is going to pop up telling me um, who's already got access to it. So currently it is private and I'm the only owner. So I'm going to add a collaborator to this folder and I will just use my Gmail account to do this. And again you'll want to choose what level this person is going to have. Are they going to be able to edit the information in the folder or are they just going to be able to view the information in the folder? And so I'll go ahead and say just view so you can see how that works. If the person doesn't know you're going to be sharing with them, you might invite them by sending an email. and you can send a copy to yourself if you want and then if you do deselect send email notifications um, it will just automatically share the folder and it won't give the recipient an email telling them that it has been shared with them so a good reason that you might not send an email notification is if you are together collaborating um, maybe in a committee meeting or or a professional learning environment and you're going to be sharing information. If you're face-to-face -face negotiating, you wouldn't need to send an email. So um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it selected to send an email and I'll go ahead and click share. And then I'm going to get the little warning message that the gmail.com domain is outside of the billing schools domain and I'll go ahead and say yes, I still want to share. And then I get kind of a summary um, really quickly that says I am the owner and I am currently sharing it with this other person and they can view um, the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and say thank you, click close. Now that folder has been shared with me so let's jump over to my other account and you can see I now have a new email and when I click on that I have the message, hello I've shared a folder with you called images and if I want to open that folder I simply click on the wording in the email it takes me to my Google Docs and shows me each of the items that's in the folder. I don't have editing privileges, but I do have viewing privileges. So if I click on an item, it's going to open it up and it says no preview available for that particular item. So that, that may or may not happen to you. If I want to actually look at this, I would have to download it to my computer to view it. So I'm not going to actually download it to my computer. I already have it there. So I'm jumping back to my uh, other account that I shared the folder from. And I just want to show you one more thing. And that is once you share a folder, it looks slightly different than a folder that's not shared. So you can see the images folder that is shared has a little icon of a person on top of it. And then uh, my other folder is not shared. So it's really easy to tell if you have a folder and its contents shared or not.